Hey guys, so last week on Instagram, I posted the question as a community question, um, how did you pay for your breast implants? Because I wanted to get some creative answers. And a lot of the things you guys said are really ingenious, and I wanted to share them with you guys. So if you're not one who wants to take out credit, a loan, that sort of thing, which I totally get, I'm on board with you there. Um, here are some really great ideas and some fun tips on how to save or discover you have money somewhere for your breast implants. So, um, bear with me. Some of these are really funny and some of these are kind of like silver lining. So, okay, so Airbnb a room in your house. A lot of us have a spare bedroom that just sits there for like our in-laws or our parents to come visit and they do maybe once or twice a year and the rest of the time, there it is. It's the carpet's still vacuumed. It's not dirty, it's pristine all year for no reason except to have a guest bedroom. Why not Airbnb that room out? Um, especially if you live in an area like close to a city, if there's events or um, basketball games or concerts, people will pay pretty good money. Or like the NCAA tournaments, people make so much money Airbnb out a room for events or concerts and stuff like that, or just if you happen to live in a pretty place like Asheville, those Airbnbs are so expensive. So that's something to consider. That's extra money that could possibly be just hanging around that you could take advantage of. So definitely Airbnb being a room is a creative solution. Uh, another one is leftover money from a wedding budget. So I know a lot of us want the big wedding but if you cut back a little bit, maybe make some deals on some flowers or getting a smaller cake or not opting for the big puffy dress, it depends on how much you really want breast implants, but you can cut corners somewhere in your wedding and still be able to save some money from the wedding and use towards your breast augmentation. Um, what else did they say? Oh, working on holidays. Sometimes you make time and a half depending on where you work so you can bank that money. Uh, tax returns, if you're lucky, you get money back. If you're not, you'll get billed. Uh, so, yes, a lot of people get money back for their tax returns, and I've seen a lot of women use their tax returns to get breast implants, so that's something to consider, too. Um, an inheritance was mentioned. Uh, maybe you come into some sort of inheritance and you use that money. Uh, saving commission checks or bonuses, that's a great one. Um, a lot of times, we don't budget or um, account for commission. So maybe the commission that you do get, if you get that as a part of your job, just set that aside, put it in an envelope um, or an electronic envelope, whatever you use as a budgeting method, and just keep saving your commission on the side until you have enough to pay for your breast augmentation. And <laughs> this is a silver lining one. Car wreck settlement. Maybe you get in a car wreck. Don't do that on purpose. But maybe you get in a car wreck and you get um, a big chunk of money for a settlement for like pain and suffering and damages and all of that stuff. Well, maybe that's your breast implant money. So there are ways to get creative and to think outside of the box other than loans or saving for years and years. So look for those opportunities. Maybe, I mean, <laughs> car wreck settlement is extreme. Maybe consider Airbnb being your room. Um, but yeah, there are lots of really fun ways to make money. And if there is one that I didn't mention that helped you, I would love to hear about it. Leave a comment below and I will make sure to include that on my Instagram page. And when I do, I'll be writing um, an article based on this video. I'll make sure to include that in my article too. So thanks.